We are having our graduation on 16th of December, uh, our 33rd graduation. <laughs> In a serene and quiet environment, 35 kilometers from Eldoret town lies the heart of a giant in the field of academia, Moy University main campus. Founded in 1984 as the second university in Kenya, with a vision of nurturing innovation and talent in science, technology and development, the journey that Moy University has had can only get better. There is a new dawn in the foundation of knowledge. We are aspiring to see this university become one of the best, not just in Kenya, but in Africa and in the world. So there is need to rebrand the university. There is need to create new values. There is need to inculcate um, a spirit of togetherness and uh, and a purpose to want to achieve beyond our individual limits. Starting with me, the Vice Chancellor, everybody must rededicate themselves. Moy University thrives on its dream to develop programs that shape the society. The graduates we produce in the various programs are uh, acknowledged by the employers as perhaps the best uh, that this country can produce in those fields. Our doctors are to be found all over the world. The media is full of them. I think every media house, from KBC to KTN, to uh, Nation TV, to Citizen, uh, you know, these uh, particular media houses are actually uh, full of our, our graduates. The industry knows that uh, when the students finish here, they don't get that so-called cultural shock. When you get to the industry and you don't, you just find things you didn't expect at all. Since its inception, the university has grown in leaps from an initial one faculty to 15 schools, nine directories, and two institutes, presently with a total student population of over 52,000, spread in four campuses, namely Main Campus, Town Campus, Eldoret West Campus, and Odera Akango Campus. Two constituent colleges, Garissa and Rongo, together with six satellite campuses in Nairobi, Kitale, Alupe, Kiricho, Coast, and Nakuru. A learning in Moy University is student based, a factor that has attracted a lot of students both locally and internationally. Moy University is the best because the mode of study, especially in medicine, school of medicine, is that it's problem based learning, student centered, student directed learning. So I get into books, get to understand what I need to be reading, and it's student-driven. According to the ratings, you would find that more university has, of course, the best professors and uh, PhD holders who are academicians in, the, in this university. What I like most is uh, the Wi-Fi. It is everywhere, including where I am now. I can't talk from my phone. By coming here, I'll be able to gain a lot of knowledge and be able to, 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 to bring contributions to my country because some of the things that I'm learning here are things that I would not normally learn back home in Zimbabwe. Even in our laboratory, just come one in one with the bodies. What you learn in class, you come and integrate here. And at the end of the day, you get knowledge and you are an experienced person. So that when you get back to the world, you see any problem associated with what you have planned, you are good to go. I learned about Moy University from uh, my predecessors. There are several doctors who have graduated from, in, from, from Moy University. Uh, the two guys have graduated in uh, orthopedic surgery, and they are good doctors there. They are doing a good job in Botswana. So I thought may, maybe I should also come to Moy University and um, become uh, part of the successful team that takes care of patients. Moy University has kept pulling first through ambitious programs focusing on job market needs, the School of Medicine and School of Public Health, for instance, have greatly influenced the health sector. Many universities and many schools talk about developing market-driven uh, programs. The School of Medicine is different in that respect. 
The School of Medicine develops programs that drive the market. So the programs that are developed here change how the market behaves. So for instance, the program that we initiated in uh, Bachelor of Science in Medical Psychology is the first of its kind, uh, perhaps on this continent. And the first graduates have been snapped up by hospitals and by institutions that require trained counselors who can work in a hospital environment. We have uh, very, very unique postgraduate programs. And the most unique one is the one where we are actually uh, training for the Minister of Health, a cadre called uh, field epidemiologists. These are very crucial people when it comes to disease outbreak investigation and disease surveillance. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is very unique is that uh, the Minister of Health actually put out a tender. And I'm glad to say we won. On the other hand, the School of Aerospace Sciences has its own aircraft for students' practice. Media students also benefit from the university's radio and TV stations. This is 103.9 MUFM, your best campus radio. KTS is a platform for me. I can, I can practice something, I can practice something like uh, uh, reading news, of which it is an advantage compared to other uh, universities where they do not have such an, uh, a facility like this. It's, it's not a mock station just like other, other universities and colleges do. It's a real thing. In order to give students a total experience, the university has entered into strategic partnerships that complement students' learning. In the recent past, we have uh, bidded and competed for World Bank funding. Uh, and now we are declared the center of excellence for uh, phytochemicals and uh, textiles and energy in Africa. So we are going to train postgraduate students for Africa under the World Bank program. We also competed and bidded for the digital literacy program in Kenya and uh, came out uh, along with Jomo Kenyatta University. Uh, we have uh, we are supplying the country 26 counties with uh, tablets and other gadgets for primary schools under the DFP program of the government. We have a, a very robust partnership with the Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital. Um, we, we have several forums where the leadership of the school and the leadership of the hospital interact and uh, agree uh, on the running of clinical programs. Um, we have a memorandum of understanding that guides this partnership and it is reviewed regularly, but currently it's under review after the last review which was about two years ago. So the Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital for our clinical program is our main, uh, if you like, laboratory. That's where we send our students to do their practical work. We also have huge uh, linkages with the universities of Oklahoma. They have managed to train uh, 25 PhDs in the School of Business. We have uh, Illinois uh, working with our School of Medicine. Uh, for the undergraduates, many of them spent uh, that time in the US, in hospitals and universities across the US, and in Europe, and in other countries in Africa, including Egypt, and uh, recently even in Uganda. There are many other collaborations. Uh, even if I pick Rivertex, for example, uh, Rivertex is a, a company belonging to the university. And you know that uh, through bilateral agreement between India and uh, Kenya government, uh, a loan was signed uh, when the two presidents met. And uh, we are getting machines, new machines for Rivertex, which are in excess of 3 billion Kenya shillings. So it's going to be a modern textile industry. It is linked to the World Bank project so that those uh, postgraduate students coming to Moi University will do practice at Rivertex. But it's not just science and technology courses that Moi University excels in. The university has competitive programs in areas arts, human and social sciences, including law, business and education. As a result, 
Moi University has continued to shape the world through its alumni. The Vice Chancellor of uh, Embu University, Mugendi, the Vice Chancellor at Kemu University, the Vice Chancellor at Seuko University, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Student Affairs, Acting Administration uh, Planning and Development at Moi University is an alumni. Other famous alumni of the university include politicians, Professor James Olekiapi, Hassan Omar, Aidan Duale, Health PS Dr. Nicholas Muraguri, industry leaders like former Kenya Vision 2030 Director General Mugo Kibati, media personalities Alex Chamwada, Willis Raburu, Muhammad Ali, Ali Manzu, Masi Kandie, Timo Fiotieno, among many others. I studied in Mo University between July 2011 and uh, December 2014. I did my bachelor's degree in communication and journalism from the School of Human Resources. Uh, one thing I could say about Mo is that it, it equips the learner with the uh, out of classroom skills so you don't only benefit from gaining that knowledge that you do in the classroom but it also equips you with some skills that go above and beyond the intellect that can help you adapt to the ever-changing global environment and helps you to fit in well as an individual and as a citizen of the world. I graduated from Moi University main campus in 1996. My faculty, that is Information Sciences, shaped my career as a journalist. In that faculty, we got exposed to skills and knowledge that make a good journalist. For example, we learned publishing and book trade, and that was what I majored in. Uh, a journalist is basically a publisher. We learned editing of scripts, and putting thoughts together. Moi University is a great institution uh, of uh, human resource uh, capacity building. I was invited, they, they admitted to do a uh, Bachelor of Education, Pages and Counseling. Now uh, from there, I ventured into music as a part-time uh, course. Now uh, that is the one that landed me a job in my university. And now I've done so many other things, the Master of Public Administration and Policy Studies. Yeah, I feel more university. Uh, is living up to the vision of nurturing talent and innovation. Leading from the front, acting Vice Chancellor Professor Labanairo still goes to class to teach. So I go to class for my PhD class, School of Engineering, Research Methods, I have School of Education. Professor Airo's vision for Moi University is clear. What I want Moi University to become in the coming two years, if I was allowed to be here, this will be the marvel of the Kenyan nation in terms of university education. While holding its 33rd graduation ceremony on Friday, the 16th of December, 2016, Moi University congratulates all graduates. Being a Moi University alumnus, there is only one thing to do as you go into the world. Whether you are an engineer, whether you are a doctor, whether you are a teacher, whether you are an information scientist, from Moi University, the character will be go forth and do what is right. Moi University, the foundation of knowledge.